and talk tonight because uh, it was about two months ago. I saw this set here by um, this young African American girl. She did this set and it was about racism and it was like, it was really, really deep, but it was funny and everyone got quite emotional at the end and you know, there were people crying and stuff. And I thought, I've got to do something like that. So I thought, you know, I've got to do something on racism. But I didn't really know, like, you know, middle aged kind of pigmentally challenged um, bogan from Bo Morris, who was educated in a private school. <laughs> I didn't really know what I had to, you know, what to bring to the table. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a waste of money to the private school. But I'm here. But um, anyway, so I'm sort of thinking about, you know, what could I do? What could I talk about on racism? And I was at the AFL the other day, I was at the MCG watching her game. And I, I had this like Eureka moment, I've gone, yeah, that's it, the AFL, they've got this work out, yeah, like we should take racism of the world and, you know, treat it how the AFL does. Because you know, now some people, they like to, um, certain people, they need to blame their, their, what's happening in their life on other people. And this happens, you, you can see this when you go to the footy, because people, they go there, you know, not back to Richmond or whatever, they go there and there's another team and they go, oh, you bastards, you know, fuck you, you know, you dickhead. But then they get on the train afterwards and they go home and no one kills anyone. So, so I thought, maybe like the countries of the world, they can kind of base themselves on the AFL. So, you know, and obviously there's more countries in the world than there are, like, um, there's more countries than AFL teams. But you know, like some of the small <laughs> countries, they could be like the Waffle or the VFL or whatever. But you'd have your, you'd have your big 18 you know, teams and you have like America would be in there, England would be in there. Australia, we'd, we'd be like the Gold Coast Suns, um, you know, the, the, the real estate. Russia could be Essendon, you know. Um, <laughs> and it, the list goes on. But they also, you know, someone's got to be Collingwood. You know, <laughs> Like, there's got to be there's got to be a country that's the team that everyone really likes to hate, you know. So, but it's also, you know, they've got to be strong enough in themselves, like Collingwood supporters, to to withstand it, to actually wear it like a badge of honour when you go. You know, like a Collingwood supporter, you go, oh, you have any teeth, and, and I am Collingwood supporter, and you go, yeah, we don't fucking give a fuck, you don't need them teeth, pies, get fucked. <laughs> so. So I thought, you know, you, you're looking for a, um, you're looking for a country that the people they're sort of strong enough where they don't care and they actually wear it as a badge of honour. So you pay them out. They're, they're like, sort of like, you know, like a real estate agent. You know, like you go, oh, he's a cat. You know, like, <laughs> you know, but the real estate agent himself, he's in his car and he's Mercedes and he's thinking, fuck, I'm a cat, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> so I was sort of thinking, what country where all the people in the country are like real estate agents, you know? And it, it's got to be France, doesn't it? So, <laughs> and I know people are thinking, oh, you can't say that after everything that's been happening in France, you know? Like, but I can. It's like being a coin spot. I can because I'm French. <laughs> and, like I really like that. There's some people here, like the um, the, the blind. What was your name? Sorry. Yeah, like people who are better at hearing, you know, like on musicians, they would have heard that little Janice Aguirre in my accent. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, oh, of course. That's what that accent is. It's French. And it's like my wife's French, my kids are French. And, and I, like, I'm fluent in French. And men, like, men, see the Jean en France. In point, can't you parle français? Je parle comme un vache espagnol. So come in with my team. <laughs> and what I just said was like, even if French people think that when I speak French, it's like a Spanish cow, it's still French. And I, I didn't even know if fucking cows could speak, but apparently Spanish <laughs> runs <laughs> and they speak French. So what I'm what I'm suggesting, like to end racism worldwide, um, we just you know like if you want to feel like you want to hate someone, whatever, you just do it to us French and yell at things like. 
oh, you French bastard, you smell of cheese. <laughs> yeah, and we all just yelled back, yeah, well, at least we know how to make it, not like your craft shit of shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Oh, <laughs> now, I realise this set's not quite as deep as what Jennifer did. <laughs> 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 you know, I put the sort of first go, so. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God.